I found an interesting article on the BBC website yesterday. I put a link up in the sidebar. A church group calling themselves the Anglican Mainstream are having a two-day conference in London at which a presentation will be given by one Dr. Joseph Nicolosi. Now, good old Dr. Joe has, and I quote, been helping people to increase their heterosexual potential for the last 25 years. Um, this man uses his evidently considerable expertise to offer a choice for people who are unhappy being gay. What this treatment actually involves, whether it's um, attaching electrodes to your genitals or some milder acclimatisation therapy like uh, making you wear a black belt with brown shoes for increased periods of time until you don't break out into a sweat. Well, the BBC website doesn't actually reveal that, so we can only speculate. However, Dr Nicolosi does say, and I quote again, that there's a great deal of evidence showing that these individuals were not harmed, um, which I think is a pretty strange way of putting it. The Royal College of Psychiatrists pours scorn on the whole idea, saying that there is no sound scientific evidence that sexual orientation can be changed. Um, they've also suggested that, uh, contrary to Dr Nicolosi's assertions, the treatment is likely to cause considerable distress. The Church of England, with typical mealy-mouthed spinelessness, has said that it doesn't promote such therapies, but stops short of condemning it. So no surprise there. What was surprising was to see that it was only in 1973 that the American Psychiatric Association ceased to classify homosexuality as a mental disorder. And it wasn't until 1992 that the World Health Organization followed suit. So, given how recent these events were, then perhaps it's not all that surprising that it's taking a little while for the message to trickle down to Anglican mainstream. And if their reluctance to let go of Bronze Age superstition is anything to go by, we could be in for a bit of a wait.